Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today I'm hanging out with David. David has a really cool super modified Heimer Active camper van that he's gonna give us a tour of today. He's also gonna show us a lot of really cool storage solutions and all the mods that he's done. So join us. Hi, my name is David Dietz and I wanna show you a little bit about my highly modified Heimer Active. This is a 2019 vehicle that I personally got from Arizona Auction. We got very lucky getting this vehicle. Came with everything that Heimer would provide, but we had a great discount at the time we got it in 2019, pre-pandemic. So let me show you a little bit about what we have inside because I think you're gonna like some of the modifications on there. Come on in and join me on this. I'm gonna take a seat and sit down and I'm dividing this truck into five sections. We're gonna have the cab area, we're gonna have the kitchen area and the office area, we're gonna have then the um, bathroom area and cooking area, and then we're gonna have the sleeping area, and we're gonna also have the garage area. And we'll show you uh, some of the things real fast about what we did to modify it, because I have almost 40 different modifications here. Some you, I hope you like, all of them. Some of them you can use for yourself, or some of them you can give to somebody else, but they're all great for me, and they work well in many cases. Hopefully at the end, I can discuss with you what I like and what I don't like about some of these modifications. So come on, let's take a look at first what we got in the front over here. So this is your standard Heimer Active ProMaster from Dodge. It's a Ram ProMaster van, and it comes with your general uh, equipment. I didn't modify too much of what came from Dodge because I wanted the original equipment that's strong and solid that's provided by Dodge on here. So one of the things that we got was, I always hated this uh, clipboard because you can't use it, it doesn't come up. So I got rid of that, just opens up, and now we can travel with this. And my wife can also put her phone on there. And so we have dual traveling and we can answer the phone. I can do appointments with office while I'm driving. It's so great. This works out fantastic. I love this device. For safety reasons and traveling, we have a uh, UBC radio that works for traveling with friends or if you want to contact or if my wife decides to take a walk in the woods, we can use this radio to keep in touch with each other along with our mini CB radios that work together in tandem. They all work great with this stuff. If you notice, I put moles for storage all around the entire vehicle. I'm a mole guy. I like to put uh, bags and storage wherever I think it's appropriate. One of the other things that we did in the van, let me just move to this side over here. We put on um, a horn and siren on here just in case I need to get away from traffic. We could now do that by having our ambulance sirens. So this kind of works pretty good. If we need to move in traffic and or at night if we're concerned about people visiting us, we could now have safety with the horn that will definitely cause people to think twice about coming near this vehicle. Let me show you what else we have that keeps people from going near the vehicle we can put on. So we have new lights and sirens on here. We also have in the front cab, we didn't want to uh, put uh, the um, uh, window screen uh, pad that comes with the vehicle because it was very bulky and difficult to put on all the time. So I modified something where you can now put on a curtain across the vehicle. It's still in design and development, but it works pretty good for us because oh, now we can have a little privacy with the vehicle and it all takes a second. Just fold it up, twist it up and put it away. We also have in the front of the vehicle for safety reasons, locks. If you could see over here, we put locks on the door where we can lock ourselves in. Very simple, just clip it and you cannot open the door from the outside. We put it on all the doors, the sliding doors and the back doors. So at night, we are secure. We have no problem with people if they come over and try to enter the vehicle. As long with several other safety features, we can talk about it another time. Now let's go into the middle, which is the kitchen area, office area, dining area. This is any modifications would be any lights, LED lights that we put on. We put on a curtain 
that we can slide. So if we have a little heat to keep in, and I had this put in, so now we can slide the curtain and have more privacy, but it keeps the heat inside this side of the vehicle, as well as having a second dressing room or privacy room if we have guests who want to come in and hang out as well. It goes on in a second also. Very simple to use, works fantastic for this. Besides your normal storage on top that comes with the vehicle, you have overhead storage and we could put on all our coverings. Um, we could put on, uh, we work with a lot of plastic bags. We're converting all cans into plastic bags for storage. Works fantastic. I'm gonna show you that in one second, how fantastic that looks, works for us. We also keep our custom designed uh, first aid kit. This thing, you can take out if you have a problem and immediately opens up. And what I like is to open up and be able to see everything immediately. If you have an emergency, you don't, can't waste time. And then you can go through all the things that you want and need and you can see through them. You can actually not have to shuffle through bags of stuff trying to find your products. This works unbelievably fantastic. It opens up immediately, it closes immediately, and it stores unbelievably small. Very convenient to have safety products. Inside here also, you have your table, your normal Heimer table that opens up by pulling out your holding device and it doubles the space that you need. And this is where I keep my office and food and any type of entertainment or dining. Uh, here's one product that I got. You'll never see this anywhere. Uh, this was custom made by a friend of mine where you can have as much tissue as you want using toilet tissue. You never have to waste money on bounty towels or any other type of expensive tissue products. Very convenient for dining, cleaning up in the RV, wiping off your shoes. Great for the kids, great for the dogs. It works out fantastic for everybody. So we have all the electric outlets in here so I could run my office equipment. And if it gets hot, we have these new multi-directional fans that work out great. And now we can have coolness in the warm weather and we have heating in the winter time on here, as well as our privacy windows, which is standard by Heimer that closes and then your screen that comes up for the bugs. Or you could put them both down. And what we love about these windows is fresh air. You can open it up as high as you want. Look at that. No problem with getting great air during a beautiful day. This works out fantastic. We love these particular things that Heimer did put into the vehicle on here. Also, we have an overhead bin that stores most of the products. As I said, I love moles. You can have all your mold products. These are handy for when I'm working here. I don't have to move. If I need a scissor or if I need uh, little uh, cords, my glasses, lighting, emergency tools that come out, just pull it out and now you can have all the tools you need to do minor work in the area because I tinker a lot with ma making and manufacturing products. Goes right back, razor blades, your uh, uh, Phillips heads that are handy, a little hammer, some extra tools. All this comes in very handy. And so, as I told you, I sometimes forget where I leave my products or what I have. So I love to put things in see-through bags. So I made everything see-through. You want to know where your Velcro is? See-through. You want to know where your batteries are for replacement batteries? You know where they are and you know what you have without, with just a glance. Wouldn't that be great to have everything in see-through bags? And I've done that for everything that I could possibly do and more as we convert slowly but surely, we're kind of figuring things out. You know, van life is kind of new for us and it's taking time to figure out what works and what doesn't work. So one of the things that worked very well for us in the kitchen area was we put up, uh, got rid of all our bottles and uh, pans that hold um, products with lids on them all your plastic lid holders, and we now put them into plastic bags. Whenever we're cooking, my wife is cooking, or I'm preparing something, everything is right in front of us that we need at the time we need it. So all you do is slide it right in, slide it right out. Anything that you need 
comes in and out. Cereal, bigger bags, not a problem. You just load the proper bag for the proper size and it stays where it's at. Eggs, anything you need, spices, whatever you need. Going across with your standard sink. This is your standard type of sink that comes with Heimer. Big enough, deep enough, it handles everything that you need it to do. No problems on here. Along with your stove, a dual burner, double dual burner stove. Lights great, heats up great, cooks all the water really fast. Great product, plus your uh, desktop so you can cook. Big enough. We put up bungee cords so we can hang paper towels through here, our sprays for cleaning, sprays for disinfectant, the cutting boards we could put up over here, and towels we could put up over here. Continuing up into this is your standard, uh, your standard uh, microwave that you can also store stuff in if you want to look over. And we use that as storage when we're not using it as a microwave because you don't always need a microwave. Perfect storage facilities that keep things dry, clean, and ready for use on there. Then we have, we put up a, uh, you need wet wipes? All the wet wipes you need just come out and then throw it back. You don't have to pull it out of a drawer. You don't have to uh, uh, find it. It's always here and always ready for wiping. And you always need to clean things all the time if you're in a van. You know what I mean. So, more storage. Drop down baskets. We put up two of them because the space was empty. And these were just one and a half inch uh, baskets. They work perfect for your minor stuff. We put in anything from honey in there to all our spices were now converted into bags. We got rid of all the bottles, all the spices. How convenient is that? I can't tell you how that works on here. Inside this cabinet is also very convenient to hide bigger uh, products, peanuts, raisins, any um, snacking foods, all fit into this. This is not the biggest cabinet in the world, but you know what, it works okay. If I can get a chance to modify it, just one day I will and make it a bigger one on there. Let's go down and see the cabinets that we have that came from Heimer and the modifications I did with the other cabinets. These are your standard deep drawer cabinets that hold your bigger pots, pans, cooking, hot water, coffee makers, uh, cups, anything that you need goes into these bigger ones. So this is, this is what works good for all your uh, electric heating pads, storage of uh, uh, noodles, canned goods, works good. But here's the one that was modified, which, which I found works great. And I'm glad I found a great woodworking guy to do this. When you pull out this drawer, it now converts the big drawer that it has into a double drawer. So now we have, because for the little things that were always there, that the drawer was just too big for. So we divide it into two. Top drawer comes out and it pops out automatically to hold your forks, knives, spoons, any small utensils. When you push the drawer, it opens up to the deeper drawer to put your small pots, pans, and other products. What a great add-on to this. Works fantastic. And when I have time, I'm going to take this one out and make this a soap dish. Over here, a little drawer that, that folds down flat. We love this product over here. Also, we have your standard refrigerator that comes out and it holds all your refrigerator needs. This, this refrigerator is a three zone refrigerator, meaning it'll use electric, it'll use gas, or it'll use an inverter to uh, charge and keep the refrigerator cold. So we have three ways to make sure that we always have power in the vehicle. So as I said, I like moles and other products. Let me show you, this is our garbage area because we're always, my wife is cooking and she's making products. So we keep the garbage over here, but we also put a mole up over here that we haven't yet used completely. But this holds any products that we need and we use it for holding extra bags for the garbage. We also use it for safety features because if I feel if we're going to have a problem with anybody and we need to have some sort of safety item, it's right here where we can see the people going out the door. So it might be a little bit of a uh, sparking uh, gun, some uh, mace that uh, we use, and some other products that we keep handy over here that I can't show you at this time, but maybe in the future if uh, Patrick allows on us. So the bags go back along with controlling all the lights that we need for the truck. These are all the lights that work in the truck. 
and it holds all the products on that. Here's our electrical system right here in the cab area that uh, you have your batteries that charge from the solar system, dual batteries that charge uh, with 400 uh, watts of power, pretty much enough during the summertime to uh, top off the uh, vehicle with uh, electric. But if that doesn't work, we also have, which I love, the uh, generator or the alternator. This truck comes with its own generator. And if the power goes down, we have a switch that we turn on that automatically starts the car to recharge the generator all night long without me even thinking about it. How great is that? I can't tell you how much ease that works. We have uh, the um, heating system from Truma where you can go through and heat the vehicle however you want by just turning it on. And now you can have gas heat, you can have electric heat, you can have both, and you can have the power from the fan on there that now you can get whatever you need from the heat system with the Trumer heater. This is your power bank for switches that control the um, inverter so you can turn your electric on and off. You can have a patio uh, awning that comes out. It's an electric, pops out, and lighting for the patio awning for nighttime. You can have uh, all your uh, switches to control the um, gas and electric power, and then you have your buttons that let you know just how much you have uh, left of all your uh, onboard water. So here is um, a product that Heimer left in the truck. This, they put storage in everywhere that you can't get to, but these are one of the things that they put in that you can get to. In that box is just your water pump, which I can't reach over to get to right now, but it's a standard just to wee water pump. In here is a custom storage that they make, which we love. And we keep odds and ends for other safety equipment, alcohol, other bags, anything that we don't use regularly. Kind of goes into this storage area. And then we have, we made a shoe rack over here with a bungee cord. Keeps the shoes out of the way. One of the things we did with the Heimer on the bench is used to slide out all the time. It was a defect that Heimer had. We corrected it by putting a metal bracket in here. Keeps the bench from coming up. Perfect. Now it works flawlessly on that. So that we, it, Heimer comes with a um, uh, LGB, um, uh, TV a monitor. We hardly use that because we don't watch TV at all, but we are converting this where we can use it with a computer so I can have an extra monitor for computer space that we can slide over to. This will also convert when we upgrade and go to our next uh, service of monitoring uh, surveillance. We're going with a full 360 wraparound surveillance system. Uh, that's coming up in a little bit. So we now have, um, this is the roof vent on here. And we keep, we keep our little noodles up here to keep it warm so we can uh, have light in here when we want. And what this does is, let me just show you. So now you have light and air, so you can have extra ventilation. But I was concerned because a lot of people were complaining about the Heimer install that had a crank that installed up and down. They were having problems with it. So I didn't wait until I had a problem. I just changed it out anyway. And we put in now a hand pull. And all you do is just pull it up. And now you can open up the vehicle and it stays solid. It doesn't blow in the wind. It, uh, if it rains, it's easy to take down. And this actually worked out very well. We love this type of thing and it automatically locks for safety. With the other one, you forget if you had it on or off. This one you can tell all the time. So let me now show you the uh, pullout where we keep the Berkey. This is, uh, Heimer had made this a closet for your clothes. They had a closet and they had this section that was used to keep some canned goods, but it was an open section. People were always modifying it to put in a, um, a box or a little cabinet inside. You know, it worked okay, but I wanted to go three steps above that. So I wanted a Berkey that you didn't have to remove to like uh, Joe and Kate used to use, and they always had to take it out. So I asked the designer, let's leave it there. How can we do that? He goes, got it. And so what he did was when you open up this drawer, it comes out with the drawer and we converted the shelf to now have food and supplies on three shelves. How great is that? The storage is impeccable. It holds during driving and we can see everything we need without having to go to the back and pull everything out. 
and go to the back and see what's left there and then have to throw it back in. We love it on here, besides getting all the water that we need with the Berkey. I said, you know what, that works so good. Do it for this one, what can we do? He goes, I got it. We open this up and he put in a metal slider inside with two shelves for bigger items. And we can put all our food and everything inside this and have at hand's reach instantly whatever we need. My wife loves that, so you know, I can't not say no. Okay, so moving back over here, let's go back to the bathroom area and show you some of the mods that we did with the bathroom. First thing, if you may notice, if you're a Heima person, we took the door out. The door used to be like this with all the metal on here and it used to slide and it was very restricting. Wasn't needed, I'm a big guy, I didn't fit well. I said, what can we do? I told the guy, take the door off. When we did that, we discovered something very interesting. Now we have this whole wall section that we can now use to put all our bathroom products on. It worked out so great that now we could, with the plastic bags that we use, the shoe bags, fits everything we need. We could live here for three weeks with no problem and still be comfortable. But then we also put a shower curtain in. We got the little pullers and now I have, and we can now take a shower and have plenty of room inside the vehicle. Look at this on here. We're putting, we're putting little magnets in the bottom so it all stays inside the shower when it, if there's water and it just comes out instantly and goes back instantly in one second and then stores away just by folding it up in one second. It'll drain, it'll air out, and it'll keep everything nice and uh, fresh without having to be wet. We also did a little hook on top, so now we can hang our towels and our clothes when we go bathing, swimming, or whatever, and now this will drip down, and it's a little hanger for here, a little rod that hangs over here. So that also worked out pretty good on here. And it comes with your standard shower on here. We didn't modify this yet because we haven't found a plumber that's still able to do this. And you can go out and take a shower uh, or wash your hands or whatever you need. But mostly we use the sink to wash our hands on there, which works out even better. So this is modified and we use the sink to hold any products that need to be held in there. So this is perfect for um, the um, uh, using for the bathroom area. The toilet is a standard, uh, cassette toilet. This is a cassette toilet that we love. It works great. We use it mostly to do number one. Uh, number two, we're always around in the city most of the time. We're still newbies, so we haven't had a direct need, but we've discovered how to do number two if we need to. Uh, we use a plastic bag and cat litter. Works out great, and uh, but for number uh, two, we just um, do uh, go inside the toilet and then we do a clean out with the cassette, which pulls out very good and it just uh, works fantastic for us. Haven't had a problem in months with using this product. Okay, so now welcome to the bedroom slash garage area. Let me show you some of the modifications we did over here and the modifications that will be going on in the future. So if you see over here, we have two separate control units. These allow us to stay warm at night in our bed. It's a heated bed. So now uh, we don't have to use the heat in the truck and we actually like it when it's cold in the truck. We really sleep much better than in our own home sleeping in this truck. We both love it on here. So this controls the heating system and we could turn up the heat and be toasty warm in the bed area. Going down is since there's a limit on electrical outlets in the truck, which is fine, uh, we just added our own electric outlets and ran the wires. So we ran extensions after extensions over so we can have our USBs and our uh, computers and the phones and anything else you really want works in this area. We run the line over and have all the other products on this wall which would be the second uh, base of electrical outlets and USB outlets which works perfect. I always keep a flashlight handy. You can never have enough flashlights in a truck. Uh, this is also for air conditioning unit that's over there and our lighting that systems in the back and we keep even extra lights over here can never have enough lights in the truck then we have the system that allows us to ventilate air faster through the bathroom so if we're cooking we could take the air out if we're sleeping and it's hot we could ventilate the air and it sucks air in creating a very cool effect and very comfortable uh, we use this when needed 
but you know what? It's, it's, we hardly use it during the, uh, our summertime because the air conditioning, which is up over here, takes care of that. We love the air conditioning. It is a little noisy, but it will fix that at some other point in the future with a modification on there. Plus our windows that we have for viewing to get fresh air. Again, the windows do open on here. I can't open these. The door is open in the back, but it does pull out completely and it gives you a little bit of air and vision, but it's also tinted, so you have some privacy as well. It gives you the bug screen and the night vision, so you get both in the same window. Great add-on on this. Uh, sh the shelving that we have to keep our clothes in, you keep it neat and organized. You can put your, as much clothes as you basically will need, which you really don't need when you become a minimalist. You know what you works for you and what you don't need and you start getting rid of stuff. Again, all the clear bags that go on. Electronic uh, massager. Works out great. When I'm driving and my knees hurt while I'm driving, I just click it on and I get a full massage while I'm driving. Very comfortable. Or for the back, love that. More clothes, towels, shirts go on this side, plus the speaker system. Beautiful speaker system to have comfortable, relaxing music over here. Then we have our storage which goes in that we can have extra storage that we need. We don't even need it. We have more storage than we'll ever need right now. I can't fill this stuff up because it's just too much storage in here for uh, what uh, is uh, on the truck. And then we go down and again, we have these drawers that we put in some extra items inside. And the other drawers, personally, I don't like them. I hated some of the drawers because they were difficult for me to get to. They were difficult to see the products. You couldn't store what you needed inside. You couldn't um, organize it properly. The drawers were very constricting. So we did something very special over here, but I'm gonna show you first that this is the place that we keep all our battery products and our inverter. The batteries are underneath the truck, the inverter is inside, and some of the controlling units for the inverter are in this particular section. But this used to be another bank of drawers over here. Took them out. Can't stand drawers on here. And we put in bungee cords, and now we put in bags of items when we're traveling. Right now I don't have them because we're not traveling that far. But this works fantastic for us. Pull what we need, we can see what we need. They're all in plastic bags. On the other side, I took out the entire drawer cabinet. Everything was gutted. So now we have completely open space that we could put in all our clear and see-through products. We can see everything we need and I can pull out what I need and put it back so easy that it makes it a pleasure being in the vehicle rather than a chore and you get aggravated trying to find any of the products on this. And again, in the products to stay cool, we have our second fan that we put in. This fan pops up, whatever you need it, locks into place, turns where you want, and now you can have whatever fan style you need. Uh, get as much air as you want and then pack it away on here and put it in. Uh, back for storage. Also comes with another curtain in the back for privacy. This curtain works great. Let's see how we did this. And pulls across. So at night, where we found that this works great is the lights that come into the truck at night when we're at a stop Maybe we did hit a Walmart or whatever. We need a little bit more. We want to keep the heat into this side because we have our electric heater, bed heater over here. That keeps all the heat in as well. Love this curtain. Works out fantastic on here. On this side is um, his and hers clothing. We really don't have much. There's more uh, storage for uh, products that we have. Um, uh, hats, windbreakers, some warm clothing. And this side is more sweaters, just a few pieces, because uh, we don't uh, yet do full complete traveling. We are part-time travelers. We do have a uh, land-based business operation, so we're not full-time RVers. We are part-time RVers to enjoy our lives as we go into retirement, so we can have some fun, but still on the process of getting out of business. We are transitioning right now. So now we're in the garage and bed area. So let me show you what the bed looks like and how comfortable it is because we did something very special. I don't know if anybody else did with the mattress. Wait, let me lower it down on here. And if you notice, 
I don't see anybody else that did this, but we have storage inside the bed. This is a storage unit for any other products that you might need. Check it out. You can put your shoes, you can put extra canned goods, you can put uh, safety products, you can put anything you want fits into the slots underneath the bed. What a great idea. Nobody's ever told us before, but this works fantastic. And we changed the mattress. We took out the Heimer supplied mattress and since I work in Asia a lot, we went to a private company that custom makes memory foam mattresses infused with negative ion. So this mattress is a memory foam, which is also about four inches thinner than the supplied mattress from Heimer, and it's infused with memory with negative ion. The negative ion helps the blood circulation in the body. So not only are we getting also a comfortable fit that's lower, so we have more room, but we're also getting great blood flow at night, and it helps us rejuvenate during our sleep. Again, these are shoe racks for convenience to have quick get products that we ever need. And um, the lighting and electrical, it's everything that we absolutely need over here in our bedding department. Okay, let me now show you some of the outside of the vehicle and uh, some of the modifications that we made uh, for this truck for convenience of traveling. First thing is, is that we have this custom made bug screen. This does come down. Okay, so this screen goes all the way down and with uh, two uh, zippers, it latches in, and when you need to go in and out, it just pops out with a magnet. Very convenient for use inside the truck, and it keeps the bugs out and easy to go in and out of the truck on here. So we're just gonna leave this down for now. And so the truck has uh, steps to go in. I, I got short legs, so it works out great for me. So when you go in, whoops, let me get the locks off because we locked ourselves out over here. And so that's how the locks work great. Okay, so these are the outdoor steps that come out. And so now we can um, uh, have easy access into the vehicle. This works for the front door. It works for the sliding door as well. We keep our mole products because we can put anything we need on there at any time. So inside here, we have these slipper holders. So if we were out in a dirty area like this, we could just uh, take our shoes off and step into these and it locks automatically around our feet. Very cool item. So now we can keep the inside of the vehicle clean. Inside here is emergency raincoats. If it rains, we can easily grab it right away. We have a his and a hers, a poncho that we can use. So we're going out in the woods or we're going out to the store or whatever we need. These are some of the custom made bags. Uh, I have a company that uh, makes products uh, from overseas. Uh, we have a factory out in Asia and these are duffel bags. They open up into giant duffel bags. So if you need a big bag, just easily take it out. It's great for the car, for the kids. You go out shopping, you wanna carry your products, it opens up to a giant bag. Great product to have anywhere in a vehicle. And then it folds back flat which we keep over here, extra bags as we need. Inside in our mold bags, these are little pockets that we can keep. These are um, uh, bug spray or a retruder spray. You can keep uh, any of your first aid products. You can keep, uh, we use gloves for repairs for the vehicle if we're outside the, the truck. Um, just any type of mold products, extra mold clips to hang any of the products on. So whatever you need, you can put in whatever works for you. And over here is something that works good for uh, gas. We have a full gas unit in here. The truck is, can be heated. We can cook with it. Uh, it's multiple purpose. So we have dual purpose products on the truck. Uh, we have a full gas tank, holds 20 gallons of LP gas. On the top of the vehicle, you'll see a awning. This awning comes out to uh, seven feet. So during the summertime, you'll have shade, or if it's drizzling or raining, you'll be protected and you can put out your camping chairs, you put out a little mat, it works fantastic. It's all electric, works great. These are your outdoor TV uh, lines. If you wanna hook a TV up, we never use it because we're always streaming on here. And then an extra electric outlet for the outdoors if you wanna do any type of cooking or anything else that goes on. Let's go to the back now.
In the back, we took off the bumper and we had this custom modified from a 300 pound pull tow to a 500 pound pull tow. If you're, while you're underneath over there, you'll see the water tank. We put on heating pads on the water tank so it won't freeze during the winter time. If we have water in the tank, that's heated from the inside of the vehicle. So this is our swing away tire. Instead of pulling it down, we wanted it to swing away so we can completely open up all the back doors and keep the tire from rolling on the ground. So this has a complete swing back door with the mole sections on it. And the upper part is for our uh, sleeping chores to put whatever we need for the wife or for myself. The bottom part is my tool kit or my garage area and it splits through the middle. Let me show you the other side how that works as well because I liked it so much I put them everywhere including on both back doors. The upper part so we can get convenience for whatever we need. The lower part is our garage to keep our, our ropes and our, our bungees and our paracords and more bags, knee pads when I have to get underneath the vehicle. Everything is convenient over there, along with charging. Just in case we have a problem, the battery doesn't work, we can charge with it. And then, of course, we had all the cabinets pulled down. We had a custom put in metal bracket to support the bed area. Works out fantastic and I love it. Look, you can see everything that you need. You can pull it out very easily without having to open drawers and the drawers would open in the wrong direction. All right, some of the modifications, but that was what works for us. It's not perfect for everybody, but this was what works for us on here. And then of course, any of the other features, like an ax that goes in a multi-purpose ax hammer for a tree, for uh, getting out of something, for um, uh, camping out. This works, goes in the back, your shovel, dust broom for the van, and then we also have a Wii Boost. This is to uh, boost any uh, signals for our phones, just in case we're a little bit further out of the city and we're not getting a strong signal. This will make the signal a little bit stronger. It works sometimes, but you know, there are other products that could probably work a little bit better, but we're trying different things. Maybe some of your viewers can suggest something else as well. On the top, we have three cameras. Not one, not two, but we have three cameras. One of them is your standard backup camera. One is a camera that we put on for the front uh, car uh, uh, mirror. The camera for the mirror, since you can't see in the back, we had an electronic uh, camera put on. So it actually, it becomes the mirror of the truck so we can look backwards. And it's the full mirror. It's not just a partial mirror, it works wonderful. And we can also have it electronically go up or down from the cab section. It's really a, a very convenient item. And then we put a third camera on there. We started the, the system to have full wraparound security and full wraparound viewing. So eventually we're going to have uh, surveillance all around the truck, which is coming on there. We're just getting the equipment ready. So let's go around on this side and show you. This is our water intake. So it comes off so you could push water in. So for a 40 gallon tank, 40 gallons is a lot of water and it'll last a long time. Very easy to fill with water fill up. Coming around here is your uh, cassette toilet removal. Very easy to take out and remove and just put back and you could dump your uh, cassette water and have, be on your way in only a matter of minutes. Uh, your heating system, this is uh, how you uh, heat with gas on the inside of the truck. Again, another electrical supply when we want to uh, have full electric in the truck without using our own electric or our own power supply, we hook up to outside shore power on here. And then uh, this is uh, another cable for TV or something. We never use this. We're not even sure what this is. Okay, underneath the truck is your uh, st storage so you can have the uh, black water uh, or gray water dispensed on there. So that, that keeps that for the storage on here. And then again, gas tank, foldable mirrors, and inside the truck, I'm going to show you something that everybody who has a uh, uh, Heimer Active has had a problem with uh, a lot of people and that's the battery, cab battery, always dies after three or four days because it's using some other power inside the system. So we purposely put in a lock-off unit that this shuts off all the power inside the truck. 
battery's dead, never drains, never has a problem with you have to go in and boost the car after four or five days when the battery drains out. You just leave this off if you're gonna store the vehicle and you come back, turn it back on, all your power comes back into the system on here and you're ready to go without having to worry about drainage. And then of course, all your buttons took for um, getting uh, the inverter to work at night to recharge your car, uh, to have your security lights on if you need uh, uh, ambulance security, and your LED lights back in front so you have extra lighting at night. So what we did was we put magnets around the truck uh, windows to make sure that uh, the, uh, the coverings stay on properly because the coverings always have a tendency to, to droop or fall down. So I added the magnets and it latches on and it holds them up. It would say it solved the problem on there so we can have full blackout inside the truck on there. And then going around the front, your emergency lights, your LED lights, your front push bar, that also works great. Uh, the manager of the company did something that was unethical and uh, eventually got caught from it and eventually shut down the business, which left all the Heimer people stranded with our warranties and uh, the rebuilds and fixing the products that when they sent out the trucks had some not perfect uh, construction done. So we became a group of Heimer people and it caused us, which is the reaction of this, to get together and create a family of hiring people to fix these products and to figure out what's wrong. And it actually became a lot of fun, you know, to do hands-on. Now they have a cult following here uh, because only a handful of them made it into the country. Yep. And uh, a lot of people are doing the modifications like you've done. That's right. What was the reasoning why you bought an RV in the first place? Okay. Uh, we have to give a shout out to uh, Joe and Kate from the uh, Russos. Uh, they were the ones who got me started some six years ago, seven years ago. Uh, I was looking for something to do in my figuring out retirement and we weren't sure. Uh, I always like traveling and but as I'm getting older I like comfort as well and being able to have a front row seat to every ocean side without hiring a hotel. So this allowed us to have free hotel service and Oceanside view, mountain view, pasture view, anywhere you wanna go, you can do it. Just get your vehicle. And so we finally made a decision to purchase. We got lucky and we bought the vehicle that Heimer started to now go out of business on. And so they didn't support the vehicle, so we started to modify it ourselves on there, which wasn't a problem. Uh, but, you know, everything has its good points and bad points. As long as you persist in what your dreams are and how you want it, you will get what you need when you uh, push hard enough and think hard enough about it. And I even had that tattooed on my body. And let me just show you a little bit. This is in Chinese because we were in China and this actually says, Zheng Moon Sheng Bian Chen Jen. And that means have your dreams, but make them real. And so now we're making our dreams real. Now, in the beginning of the video, you mentioned some pros and cons, I guess, with uh, some of the modifications that you've done. Can you take us through some of those? Yeah. Well, let me get the clipboard so I could uh, get all that. Just give me one second, okay? At this point, I just want to give you some of my likes and dislikes about the vehicle, but if you don't mind, I'm just going to read it off because I can't remember them all uh, as, uh, you know, getting older in uh, my retirement years to have fun. So let me talk about things that I like first about the vehicle. And one of the things that I love is this truck has a turning radius that's really tight. When we get uh, make a U-turn or we have to turn around in a parking lot, we love this small vehicle because we can go where the cars go. Not the bigger trucks and the bigger RVs has some restrictions. So we like the being able to move around and being mobile. We like the cameras that are in the truck so we could see all around the truck, either while we're parked or while we're driving. Uh, it works out great and it really helps with uh, blind spots on there. Um, I do like we put on emergency lights and horns in the truck. So if we're stuck or if we have an intruder or we're concerned about something being in the woods or alone, oh. uh, this will surely have give people a second thought about what they're doing on here. Um, the satellite uh, uh, tracking, which is uh, the uh, phone uh, enhancement, uh, we like that. That helps uh, boost our cell phone power. And we really love in the front uh, cab, the, um, it's called the Ducato dashboard lift. Now that 
clipboard that was locked in that everybody got frustrated over. They're trying to pull it out. Well, we actually replaced it. Now we could pull up and the dashboard in the front and use it for our phones or anything else that we need for traveling and our maps we put on there. Uh, very convenient. Love that. Um, we also uh, did a, a, a lift on the truck ground clearance. We went up four inches. If you take a look around the truck when you get a chance, you can see that this uh, raised the truck up so we can go over some mountain roads, some uh, 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 holes in the road, and we could take more off-road than before because we do have a, sh a small clearance at the bottom. Uh, but we, and we put on a kick plate in the front to protect uh, the shroud for the uh, alternator as well. This is something else very special. When we now park in uh, parking lots, we don't hit the uh, parking uh, concrete anymore. We go over it. So we can now get an extra foot of space inside when we travel over the parking lot uh, barrier. Oh, no. Um, we expanded the shower curtain. We love that. Then we have more room. It's convenient. It dries very fast. We got rid of those hard, solid, uncomfortable doors. And we opened up the front cab with the front window curtain. Now, instead of putting a uh, uh, window blocker in the front for privacy, which takes about five minutes to set up, we just pull the curtains out, three seconds, privacy is done, and uh, we can now uh, do what we ever need, and it opens up the whole space without having a big bulky uh, shroud to put on the front window. Um, uh, we love the electric uh, in our cooking. Uh, we we uh, use our uh, induction cooker a lot, uh, besides our gas, which works out great. And the outlets work out fantastic. We love the outlets all around the vehicle on there. And then, of course, the inside bed storage adds extra storage for the truck. Uh, as well as night for ambiance and relaxation, we have our LED lights. We don't have to use any of the power of any of the other lights. It uses so much little power that it's, it's nominal. So the LED lights make it work great. And those are some of the things that are great. Let me now discuss what the things that I may not like or what doesn't work in the truck that we've discovered in our time having it. Big thing, it's not a four wheel drive. We have two wheel drive. We are limited in where we can go and we have to be very careful. We've gotten stuck in the sand a couple of times. It's not a fun thing. All right. I would like to get tires that if we have a flat tire, the tires will still work. So run flat tires uh, possibly can be installed in the truck on here. Uh, what I don't like about uh, the truck is the white interior, the white seats. They get dirty, uh, even though they're comfortable, white doesn't go with the truck. I don't know why Heimer didn't put in an option for a gray or a black. So we just put seat covers on them. It helps solve that problem. And I also hate that there's no armrest on the passenger side. I'm a big guy. I like to put out my hand and rest my hand while you're driving for hours at a time and be comfortable. So armrest on the passenger seat should have been done on there. Uh, I got the truck, uh, was on a, a bit of a deal, and I had to get the color that was available. The truck is kind of a goldish color. I never liked the color, but I took the truck anyway. And I, in the future, another mod will be a van wrap. We're going to change it to a white color, and we're probably going to have some graphics. Something crazy, maybe like wolves running across the truck. And we're going to name the truck Running Wolf on there. Uh, we don't like the air conditioner. It's loud, it keeps us up, and it draws a lot of electric during the night. Uh, so we're looking at some point to modify the air conditioner so it's a much quieter unit, maybe something underneath the truck uh, that uh, will uh, allow this to cool without so much noise. Uh, we also don't like the shower uh, uh, sprayer. It doesn't shut off. It's either on or off. And it's uh, very inconvenient to use when taking a shower, uh, but it's, we just work it out until we can modify the plumbing on there. So we don't like that. Um, another one that I think all of us have over here is the slide do slider door. It's a side slider door. This door, every time you close it, you have to close it at least three or four times. It never shuts completely. Everybody who has one of these vans knows this problem. So we're gonna have to do something to modify this to make sure that the door closes first time or the second time and it stays shut so we can lock the vehicle up. I hate those slider doors, you know? And we're constantly slamming them. Um, I came up uh, with an idea for a handle to put on the inside so we can have uh, something to pull the door closed as well. We'll get that maybe on the next video. And those are some of the things that I hate about the vehicle. But overall, 
What a great vehicle. We love it. What I also do, since I'm in ret semi-retirement, not fully retired on here, you know, when you've been working for 40 years in the animal industry, I'm a pet lover, and we ran a dog business for uh, 40 years, which we're still doing. Um, it's hard to retire. It's hard to stop what you're doing and change your lifestyle. And so this RV is allowing me to train to not work all the time. But while we're still doing that, it's still a part-time thing. Uh, we run a business called puppyparties.com. I'm an entertainer. We bring live little baby puppies to kids' parties and adult parties and corporate events. And that's what I'm doing right now in transition because it allows me to use the van part-time for a day, a week, or a month, and then uh, book or schedule parties for other people in between that time. What a great way to have both worlds at the same time. Puppyparty.com. Look, check out the website. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. I love it. We'll see you soon. Thank you.